for most women, more importantly, does your pregnancy need to be a medical process? Does poking, prodding, scanning, and scooping help this natural phenomenon go better for most mom and baby? And these days, if it's not the option you want, is there really any other reasonable option? Stick around and I'll give you some insights that you don't want to miss. Hi, this is Dr. Hobbs, restoring hope and health for lifetime family wellness and finding the cause and the right combination. It's important to keep in mind that conventional medicine is focused on ensuring that we're not diseased, that we're going to live through the process, not necessarily if we're healthy. Can it be both? So yes, it's okay to do the screening before conception, the ultrasound and other basic tests during pregnancy to prevent disease and death, but also pursue mother and baby health throughout the process. Here are 10 steps to a healthier pregnancy that are further explained in chapter four of the book, How to Have Well-Adjusted Babies, right? So here we go, number one, learn about the pregnancy, the basic developmental process and growing needs. All right, number two, interview other women, couples, and maternity care providers to help you decide on your approach to pregnancy and birth. These days, there are many quality safe options, including controlled medical approach or safe holistic approach, utilizing private practice midwife or um, for support during pregnancy, birth, and afterwards for weeks or months, or a doula who supports primarily right around the time of birth. All right, number three, Learn about general health and wellness. This is further outlined in chapter three of the book. Number four, get checked by a wellness-oriented chiropractor to keep the nervous system, which is the master system of your body, working well throughout pregnancy. Number five, assess your pregnancy health status. Functional lab tests are best at this, checking for nutritional deficiencies and gut health. All right, number six, adopt health care principles and healthy lifestyle habits, which are further outlined in chapter four. Number seven, focus on a wholesome, nutritious diet, further outlined in chapter five, and another book called Superfood for Babies. All right, number eight, reduce your toxic load, further outlined in chapter six. Number nine, maintain a positive learning attitude, further outlined in chapter three. Number 10, relax and meditate and connect with your baby. All right, that summary, summary alone is a great guide for a healthy pregnancy. Dive into the details and apply them for your healthy pregnancy, delivery, and baby. The book references are in the description below. You can find more of my videos on my YouTube channel or by texting the keyword babies to our office phone number to get this whole baby series. Thanks for listening. Have a great day and may God bless you.